particularly since, David, they have such high unfavorables. Like one of them saying that the other one is worse when one is like dislike 36 percent, right. the other one is dislike 54 percent. We don't want to fuel that fire of, of discontent with our candidates, but there is a point here, and, there, and it is a serious point, and I don't mean to sound like I'm taking one side, but the fact is, is that there is discontent in the military, and it's not just been pointed out by Donald Trump. Pol Politico, which is basically an anti-Trump publication, came out with a big piece a couple of years ago talking Talking about the discontent in the military about President Absolutely. Obama. Let's face it, he does not have that militaristic background that some people say Donald Trump. I know Donald Trump didn't serve, but uh, he had a lot of connections with the military that President Obama did not have before he became president. Well, so then the big question becomes I mean, with his big proposal speech yesterday and the two of them going back and forth, did the issues come to the to the to the top? Did they rise the cream to the top? I think they or do. Or will it, it be this battle between you're unqualified, I'm unqualified? No, and, and blah, blah, Trump blah. really did focus on the issues. He also <laughs> did, took some hits at Hillary, no question, yesterday, but he was very issue based, I thought, yesterday.